What's up guys? This is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video. And this time we have some more Gears of War 4 news to discuss. That's right guys, we have some brand new news regarding Gears of War 4. And it's regarding the weapons and enemies of Gears of War 4. As you guys can see from here, we're going to be discussing the new types of weapons and the new types of enemies regarding Gears of War 4. And I'm pretty darn excited because, well, since Gears of War 4 is a brand new chapter for the Gears Saga, this means it's going to be a plethora of new things such as enemies, characters, weapons, and a whole bunch of other things. So let's get on with this article, shall we? <clears throat> Gears of War has always had a fair amount of creativity stocked in the enemies it throws at players, as well as the weapons it has given them to move, mow them down. Though Gears of War 4 looks to make some new changes when it comes out to tone and scope, the coalition aims to keep both enemies and weapons as delightfully nasty as they've ever been. Old favorites like the Chainsaw Equipped Lancer and the trusty Snub Pistol return, but with some aesthetic changes. To help install the more survival horror aspects of the game, the Lancer now has a flashlight attached to it, that simultaneously makes targets easier to find and highlights their creepier features. Of course, not all the changes to the classes are done for pragmatic reasons. The team admits the Nasher now has a shell rail attached to it simply because it looks cool. While these additions are mostly cosmetic and don't fundamentally change how these weapons function, they are pleasant to look at. The new weapons we seen are essentially construction equipment that has been repurposed for violent means. The coalition chose construction equipment in particular as an inspiration because Gears of War 4 is setting because the humans left on Sarah are trying to build a new life after the war with the Locust. The new two big weapons we saw and played with are the Drop Shot and Buzz Buzzkill. Alright, so this is the Drop Shot right here, guys. This is the Drop Shot. Let's read it. The Drop Shot functions somewhat as a replacement for the Digger launcher of Gears of War 3, which fire explosive creatures underground. Instead, the Drop Shot fires an aerial mine that floats over the battlefield in a straight line as long as you hold the trigger. The moment you let go, the mine spins downward violently. If it hits the ground, it drills for a second before exploding, blowing anything nearby into chunks. If you manage to nail a direct hit on the enemy, it drills into their head, decapitating them while their body convulses until the mine explodes. It's a gruesome display that fits, that fits alongside some of the gear's best weaponry and it also super challenging to control, make you feel like a champion whenever you manage to score a direct hit. So that's pretty darn interesting. The buzz kill. The buzz kill fires buzz saws, a lot of them, and they spool everywhere as long as you hold down the fire button. However, these saws don't become embedded into walls. They bounce ricocheting off surfaces and tear enemies to shreds. During our time with the buzz kill, we found the weapon was great at clearing a room, but was dangerous as it was efficient, capable of killing you with its own saws if you lose track of the trajectories. So this is the buzz kill right here. The combat knife, okay, so, you know, this is just a standard knife. Combat Knife. Gears of War 4 brings a new melee execution to the series in the form of combat knives. These brutal finishers are a gruesome sight to behold with knives plunging into the ribs and skulls. In multiplayer, the look of your knife will depend on which faction you're playing as the cog knife is shown above. Okay, head on to page 2 to find out about Gears of War 4's enemies. Alright, now this is what I'm interested in. We're here to, we're here to discuss the different variants of the new Locust Horde, so let's go. Enemies. One of the Coalition's biggest challenges in the early stages of developing Gears of War 4 was coming up with an enemy that was just as fearsome as the Locust. After spending a good chunk of time going back through the series and studying why the Locust worked as well as they did, the Coalition eventually created the unit types that make up the new threat in the game, the Swarm. We got to see a handful of these enemy, of these enemy types in action during the demos we watched. While there were some we didn't get many details about, like the hulking and mysterious snatcher creature we only caught a glimpse of in our demos, there are three types of coalition showed us and talked about at length. Alright, so let's check this out. So there's a new type of enemy called the Swarm. I guess they're related to the Locust somehow. But this is the Imago. Well, Imago, I, I don't know. The Grenadier, the Sniper, and the Hunter. If you guys look at it, the Sniper has the standard Sniper. The Hunter has the Torque Bow. Um, the Grenadier, well, I don't see any weapon, so I can't really say. But, and the Imago, right there, so, yeah, let's scroll down. Drones. The drones will probably be the most familiar of the swarm enemy types, with them resembling various modified Locust soldiers. We weren't told why these units bear such a strong resemblance to the enemies of the previous Gears title, so speculate away. During the two demos we saw, the drones functioned similarly to how the Locust did in the original Gears of War with each of them fulfilling a different role. Some of them would try to pin JD down, while others flank them or try to get him out of cover. 
These are the juvies. Okay, so here's a nice little screenshot of the juvie. Juvies are nasty business. At first glance, you might think their updated version of Gears of War's annoying wretches. That's exactly what I thought. That's actually kind of crazy. But juvies are faster, harder to hit, and have a deadly ability. During the game, you come across gooey pods that can serve as a temporary cover until a stream of bullets pop them. Sometimes a drone or juvie will be inside. Certain juvies can unleash a blood curdling scream that will pop all the pods in the nearby vicinity, potentially flooding your combat zone with more enemies. Where wretches never really succeed as being anything other than mild annoyances, Julie's deadly capabilities, along with their slimy appearance, could make them into something far more terrifying. These are the pouncers. The pouncers were revealed during the Years of War E3 presentation, so these are like giant dogs. They look certainly terrifying. Now let's read it, okay? Pouncers are a bruiser unit we saw near the end of our demos. These giant naked mole rat looking beasts are not only, only capable of pinning you to the ground and viciously mauling you, but they also carry deadly skills in their tails that can whip you as projectiles. However, the cautious or reflex skilled player will be able to take these monsters down. During our demo, JD actually caught one of the pouncers in midair with his lantern chainsaw as it dove at him, killing him instantly into a bloody but fantastic sequence. So, wow. Wow, that's pretty gruesome. So I like the fact that there's a different type of enemy. They're not sticking with the locusts, but I'm really interested in the background and the history of the swarm. That's what they're called now. So, you know, I'm really interested on their story. I'm really interested on how they came to be, considering this game is 25 years after their, after Gears of War 3. So I really hope they explain it in the campaign, which, which more likely they will. This is the coalition and it's led by Rob Ferguson so of course he's keeping an eye out on the game and I have highly I have high hopes for this game I have high hopes for the campaign as well and of course the multiplayer will be phenomenal as well so that's all I really have to say regarding this this today's info of Gears of War 4 we have we get we got to see some of the enemies like the Juvies the Imago Grenadier Sniper Hunter and of course the pouncer and we also got a chance to see some of the new weapons such as the drop shot and the buzz kill and of course the combat knife the next gears of war for information will be available um let's see march 19th i mean march 18th march 18th which is this friday so the next gears of war 4 video i will have for you guys will be on friday so be on the lookout for that i'm pretty darn excited this game just constantly impresses me and i can't wait to see what more they have to reveal for this friday with that being said, though, guys, that's all I really have to say regarding this video regarding Gears of War 4. If you guys would like to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to enjoy my content, or enjoy any other future things, I upload gaming news. I'm currently following all Gears of War 4 videos and news and info. So hit the subscribe button for all your information regarding Gears of War 4 because I will be here to give you guys as much information as possible. With that being said, though, guys, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Sound of Jordan here. Peace. Late and see you guys in the next Gears of War for a video. I'm out and have a lovely day.